In this video, we're gonna be using Declaration Grooming Original and the Rockwell T2. Stay tuned. Hey there folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB, and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content today, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf, and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, we are back and let's get into this Lord Shady inspired uh, shave today because this Declaration Original was sent to me by our good friend Lord Shady. And man, I like the scent of this. It is sandalwood and bergamot. Beautiful scent, uh, slightly under medium scent strength, but I love the scent. It's just beautiful. And I believe this was the first scent that Declaration uh, ever made. Really, really nice. I like it a lot. So thank you uh, so much, Shady. Uh, the cost on this is $20 for four ounces. And on our cost chart there, that is $5 an ounce, which is pricey. But man, what a scent. If you haven't tried original and sandalwood and bergamot, it uh, smells good or sounds good. It does smell good. <laughs> But if that sounds good to you, you may want to check this one out because it's really, really nice. I'll put the ingredients for you on the screen right there. This is a tallow-based soap and it uses bison tallow. And man, what a scent. It lathered up also beautifully. I'll show you a lather shot right there. So no problems whatsoever lathering it. And I'm looking forward to using it today. And by the way, I have a red towel back there because red is one of Shady's colors. And we're using the Rockwell T2. Uh, today and we have it set on six if you can see that uh, selector there and I'll go ahead and open it and show you the uh, the blade today which is the Gillette Nasset. Now that is not Shady inspired because Shady is not a big Nasset fan but I do like the Nasset. I do like the way the Rockwell T2 the bay doors are very very smooth. There's no grittiness in that mechanism and I like that a lot. Just the razor overall for me feels just a little clunky uh, for some reason but I've only had one shave with it, so we'll shave again with it today and see how it goes. This one is in the gunmetal finish, and I believe these runs about these run, excuse me, about $130 adjustable, as you can see there, and we look forward to using that today. So without further ado, let's get into it. Let's start off by misting the face, and I always link the products used below. I get a lot of questions. Where do you get this? Where do you get that? Check below the video. Those are where the links are. We have our HCNC bowl and today's brush is the uh, Dark Sanctum Ronin X red and black Shady's colors there. Let's get a little bit of that lather off the, the red. I really like this brush and let's apply the lather to the face and man this stuff smells great and look at that sheen on there. That is creamy goodness right there. I tell you what. Very nice. I do tend to use a little more declaration um, product when lathering because it is rather soft. So I use just a little bit more than I ordinarily what would, but I do get uh, good results with it every time. Um, it is definitely a good quality soap. It's a little pricey, but um, and probably even more pricey since I have to use just a little more product, but it is a good one. Of course, this one again was given to me by Shady. So thank you again, Shady, really appreciate you. And this one is for you because we're going full on Shady with the red and black, with the declaration, with the T2. All right, very nice. That's good enough. We don't have to spend all day lathering there. That is plenty good enough. There will be plenty of slickness there to be had from the soap. I hope you're all having a great day so far. We intend to start our day great with a great shave. That's the way I like to do it anyway. Some people like to shave at night. That's okay too. However you like to do it. I would say the knurling on here even though it looks grippy, it's not all that grippy. It's actually pretty slick, but I don't really have problems holding on to razors typically, so that's not a concern for me. But the knurling there is mostly for looks. It doesn't really provide all that much grip in my opinion. Now on six, feels pretty efficient. So you definitely get some good efficiency on that uh, six setting. And after this first pass, I'll probably dial it down because we, I think we started on three last time, so we'll check out some of the lower settings today and see how they work. But six feels great to me. 
I would probably mostly keep it on uh, five and six, but I prefer, you know, a little more blade feel. So that would be normal for me. Very nice. No problems whatsoever with the Model T here so far. Feels nice and smooth and the, the Nasset blade feels great. Um, in my last shave, I started out with the Rockwell blade that came with it and it was terrible. Now I have used the Rockwell blades in the past and they work fine, but man, the other day, that one was terrible. After a few strokes, I chucked that one. And that's what I advise anybody to do. If you're cruising along in your shave or you start out and it just doesn't feel right, swap that blade out. Blades are inexpensive. There's no reason to push them. Now I do hear of people using blades, you know, tons and tons of time. And for me, there's just really not a compelling reason to do that because they're, you know, inexpensive. If you're a hobbyist anyway, and you're already spending a lot of money on shaving gear, um, pushing the blade, it just doesn't seem wise or necessary. That's just my opinion. All right, very nice, very nice. So the first pass on six was nice. Now this time we will, uh, we'll turn her down to about, let's go to, this time we'll go to two right there and see how that feels. Uh, I imagine that's gonna feel pretty mild, but no worries. No worries, we'll still hopefully use it well. And I tell you what, the scent on this soap, I love it. So thank you, Shady. This is right up my alley. It's got some bright, brightness to it, but the sandalwood rounds it also. It's a really nice, simple scent, but it's one of those that as soon as I smelled it, I'm like, that's nice, I like that. And when I lathered it, I liked it even more than smelling it off the tub. Not every scent has to be complex and, and challenging, you know. Simple scents are fine too. My personal um, standard when it comes to scents, does it smell good? I don't care if it's complex. I don't care if it's um, simple. If it's got one note, 12 notes, you know, if it smells good, I'm good. <laughs> I just want it to smell good. That's all I'm interested in. The level of complexity for me doesn't matter uh, whatsoever. I do appreciate a complex scent that sort of has me guessing. And, and uh, the way I would describe a complex scent for me is it's a scent that's so well blended and it has many elements that it's hard to discern the individual elements. For me, that's a complex scent and one that I tend to like. Um, on, on the other hand, a scent like this, which is relatively simple and straightforward, I like it a lot as well. So let's press on here. On setting number two, definitely, you know, less less blade feely there than, than uh, six, but of course that would be expected. Feels very nice. And the quality of the Declaration soap is quite good. I think pretty much the only knock on Declaration is the cost. It's, you know, it's a little pricey, but they do have some amazing scents and it is a uh, good quality. So I've never had any problems lathering it. Uh, some people have, I know Jeremy, the traveling shaver, has struggled with it um, a little bit, but I think the other day he told me he finally, you know, got a great lather out of it. And sometimes people just, sometimes um, folks, certain soaps are just challenging, you know, for whatever the reason, maybe the conditions, maybe the way folks lather, you just never know. So yeah, on two, quite mild, I would say. In fact, that's so mild that I am going to turn that up to, I'm going to go back up to four because I'm not, I'm not really digging it feeling that mild. I want to feel a little bit of blade. So I'm turning it back up to four and we'll just re-lather real, real quickly here. I didn't need to lather my ear, but that's okay. We'll just re-lather and come across and hit that again very quickly. Two, uh, not enough juice for me before. I think we'll feel a little better. Yeah, there we go. A little more blade to the party there. And the blade, of course, is what it's all about. We're cutting. So the blade is where it's at. If you have a bad blade, I don't care how good the razor is, it's not going to feel that great. There's really no making up for a bad blade when it comes down to it, no matter how good the razor is. The blade is bad if the blade is beyond its serviceable life really can't be salvaged at that point, unless you were able somehow to re-sharpen or hone it, um, like you would a straight razor, but 
With these DE blades, there's just no reason to fool around with them and, and press it. Yeah, on four, much, much better. So I would definitely, um, opt for me on this razor, I would use four and up. And so that's what I'm going to use on this side here because two is just a little too mild for my taste. This feels a lot better to me. You may be the opposite. You may like settings one, two, and three, and that might be your jam, and that is okay. Dance on to that jam. Um, always do what works best for you. And when time permits, and I, admittedly, time is difficult for me now because I'm extremely busy. I'll try to do some tutorials on basics because I know we have a lot of new folks, but it's it's been a busy time for me um, with all the things going on in my life. And yesterday, I just got a call from my daughter, and uh, she coughed so hard she fractured one of her ribs. Uh, and I was like, oh, mackerel, that's got to be painful. It could have been one that was fractured previously, and she, you know, refractured it. Um, she had to go to the emergency room, and that's some serious coughing. Um, so we certainly hope she will recuperate soon. That's got to be extremely painful. But it just seems like the folks in my life, uh, all around, there's just illness everywhere you look, and I'm just praying for better days ahead, and I believe they will come. I try to remain confident, you know, but. Right now we're kind of on a rough stretch with family health. So we're hoping for better things and believing. You have to believe too, I think. So that's the way I'm approaching it anyway. All right, very nice. Man, what a scent on this soap. This scent, I would say underrated. I don't hear much about it. Um, maybe it's because it's been out for a long time, but it is a beautiful scent, I think. I think it's fantastic. So thank you again, Shady, for Sending this along, this is definitely a winner for me. It smells fantastic. And I'm enjoying the T2 also. I don't think, for me, it still feels a little clunky for some reason, I don't know. Uh, maybe it's because the handle's a little bit longer than I like, and the head's a little chunky, I think. Um, so let me put it to you this way. If you were to ask me whether I would want the T2 or the Rockwell 6S or 6C. I would take the 6S or the 6C every time, all the time. Um, they feel, even though they kind of have a chunky head too, just feels like a, a little more comfortable for me to use. For some reason, the T series, the Model T series from Rockwell, um, just feel a little clunky, cumbersome. But there are also people like Joe, JT, uh, who love it. So JT, I'm glad to have you back. JT was on sabbatical from commenting for a while. It's, I hope you're watching day, JT, and I, I believe he will be. And blessings to you, and blessing to, to all of you, by the way, regular viewers and new viewers alike. But some people really love this. For me, I would choose the 6S, honestly. Less expensive. I think for me, a better shaver. But we'll continue um, going to this razor from time to time until we figure out uh, you know, whether we like it or not. And I forgot to mention this today. This uh, razor was provided by Grown Man Shave. And if you'd like to get 10% off your first order, use the count code IMCDB and you can get 10% off your first order. Again, um, this was kindly provided by Grown Man Shave, and I apologize for not mentioning that sooner. Next time I use it, I'll mention it earlier. All right. Thank you so much. I will uh, rinse, then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off camera did a warm water rinse, remove the soap, and then we applied our PAA alum, and there was no stinging there, so that was a super smooth shave. No nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. Excellent shave. I really enjoyed it. Following the alum, we did a cool water rinse. And then we towed off with our Lancaster towel back there prior to applying the magic made by witches. This is Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber, which is excellent stuff. Again, I'll link everything below. We had an excellent shave today with Declaration Grooming. This is original courtesy of Lord Shady. Man, this is awesome. Thank you, Shady. I loved it. Beautiful scent. It's simple, but it's really, really nice and pleasant. I like that a lot. We used the Rockwell uh, Model T Two, which I had a great shave with. To me, the way I would improve this razor if I were Rockwell, reduce the size of this handle, the length, 
cut down on the size of that head a little bit and make it a little uh, less clunky, but it is a good and capable shaver. It will definitely give you a great shave. And again, this was provided by the good folks at Grown Man Shave. Use, again, discount code IMCDB to get 10% off your first order, if you please. Thank you, Grown Man Shave. For that, we used our Dark Sanctum Ronin X brush, and it's in our Lancaster Razorworks brush soaking mug. Of course, our HC and C bowl, which I've been absolutely loving. And we're going to finish things out today with Declaration Grooming Original Splash, courtesy of Lord Shady. And man, I tell you what, I am impressed with this scent. Um, when I first smelled it off the tub, I liked it, but after using it, I like it a lot. <laughs> it's really good. Oh man, super pleasant, super nice. And I hope you have a super pleasant and super nice day. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, I've been your host CDB reminding you, sure shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.